Yo guys, so today we're off to Ashton Gate to watch Bristol City vs Reading. It's a huge game today. It's time to continue our push for the playoffs. It's sixth place Bristol City today versus nineteenth place Reading. It's a really big game, of course. Reading are trying to um, secure their status of a Championship club next year, and obviously we're trying to get into that last playoff position and perhaps even fifth. Big game. My score prediction today is two 0 Um, I think you know. I think after the um the performance against West Brom. And also a bit of Aston Villa. We've got a lot of confidence going into this game, and we definitely should do. And hopefully we can take that confidence into this game and try and get the result that we need. We need to win today. Hopefully we can get the result, of course. Thank you for watching this video. If you could like and subscribe, it mean a lot. And come on, you Reds. Over now, finish obviously 1 0. Um, a 48th minute goal by Mighty, I think, the Reading player, and then that was cancelled out by Josh Brownhill's goal in the 72nd minute by a pretty good, good ball, to be fair. I must admit, it was a good goal. Anyway, overall, I think um, today's performance was pretty average. The effort was there, as Lee Johnson said in his um, post match interview, but um, I do I do think that there's a lot of quality missing. I mean, I can't fault the player's effort in today's game. But, you know, the quality was missing, Jack Hunt's crossing, you know, there was, too, there was, there was, that was just one example. There's just too many players having an off game today, to be honest. Hopefully we can bounce back um, some 18 minutes in to um, the 3 o'clock kickoffs and I feel like Birmingham are drawing and stuff like that. Anyway, hopefully the yeah, um, results go away today and we can stay in the playoffs. It isn't looking likely though at the moment. Thank you for watching. My man of the match is probably Josh Brown, who I'd probably go for the actual man of the match, to be fair. I think he did play pretty well overall to be fair. Boston midfield and, on, and also I hope that Corey Smith's um, injury isn't too bad because he obviously did get stretched off. 
Anyway, thank you for watching. If you can like and subscribe, it mean a lot. Thank you for watching, and come on your ads for Sheffield Wednesday on Monday.